Hey everyone, welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles 4. We're about to go assault the Howitzer Cannon. Allow me to explain your next mission. As you know, Fort Crest has a 21 centimeter howitzer that's blocking our advance. It might just look like an old castle turned into a makeshift fort. However, they've stationed quite a few troops to defend the cannon. If we get too close, those turrets on the walls will mow us down. So when does our own cannon get here? That howitzer already destroyed it. Huh. We were outranged. That's not good. Blown up already? How long will the replacement take? Too long. The bridge was destroyed too, so the artillery tractor can't proceed. It will take at least seven days. Though we do have plenty of infantry en route. Doesn't matter how many foot soldiers we get. Without a cannon, we're just waiting around. Not necessarily. Huh? Time is of the essence. We don't have a week to wait. You're as sharp as ever. Like he says, we can't afford to wait. We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. That's too reckless. Those turrets would fill us with more holes than golly and cheese. It's a dangerous mission, I know. But those are your orders. This isn't your local militia. This is what you signed up for when you joined the Edinburgh Army. You're right. We enlisted to crush the Empire. Not to commit suicide. Then allow me to clue you in on something. Crystal, tell them the news. Yes, ma'am. This morning, the Empire invaded Gallia. They've invaded? I knew it was only a matter of time. What about our hometown? Is Hoffman okay? All we know is that the battle broke out near the border, at Citadel Girlandio. The Imperial Army, however, is being led by Prince Maximilian himself. Gallia's prospects look grim. Oh, damn it! Hmm, I don't know about telling them about the downfall of their hometown right before a very serious battle here is there nothing we can do well you could have focused on this Michigan this mission if operation Northern Cross goes as there planned, you go the Empire won't have the luxury of staying on the offensive our only option is to complete the mission as soon as possible turn it around Claude guess we've got no choice then if our homes in the Empire sites then we've got to protect it yeah Let's do it for Galia. Let's keep going. Here are your orders. We're here to seize Fort Crest's howitzer. Squatty will lay siege to the castle and capture the enemy camp. That's us. However, turrets are guarding the entrance. If you wander into the machine gun's range, they'll cut through you like carving a cake. Okay. So don't wander into the machine gun's range. We have to find a way to take them out. Concentrate on gaining a foothold. Instead, the plaza out front will do. But first, you'll need to get into place. Position units on the battlefield to do so, so I'm assuming we're going to pick our soldier loadout. Victory, the enemy base is captured. Failure, the enemy occupies your base camp. All allied infantry fall in action. 20 turns pass. So we do have a time limit. So there's going to be 20 turns. Okay, so... What does reassigned squad do? Squad setup. We have reserves, and we have actives. What does it mean when they're red? That it means they can't be taken out. Okay. So we have to keep Kai and Raz in the battle. 
Everybody else here is active. So we have snipers, three snipers, including Kai. But we have two engineers. A bunch of lancers. Some shock troopers, which is what Raz is. And we have scouts. All right. Oh, so you can hit Y to find out information about the soldier. Being spotted by multiple enemies puts her on the spot, making her too afraid to move. Stage fright. Unfortunate. Whoops. Well, I didn't particularly want to do that. Who do we have here? Two other shock troopers and another scout. I don't know how many snipers we need. Of course. Well, we have an open slot. Just watch me. The mission info we've already seen. We can deploy. Let's. We're gonna position our units. That's what it wants us to do. Unit placement and leaders. Position units to choose which soldiers to deploy and where to place them. Use the D-pad to choose a camp to deploy units to. Confirm with A. Some missions offer multiple camps. Once a camp has been chosen, pick a unit from the roster to put them in position. Tanks can only be placed in spots with a tank icon, and infantry can only be deployed to unmarked spots. A CP symbol is displayed beside the name of some units on their profile window. These units are known as leaders. By including them on the field, they'll each add one CP to your total, so that's really important. The more leaders we have, the more CP we're going to have on the player phase. Deploy more leaders to gain more CP. Right, exactly. Intel has reported a tank on the field. Deploying a Lancer here is recommended. So Lancers must be effective against tanks. It's good to know. So we have Claude already out there in the tank. Well, we know we want to bring Raz. Lock and load. Let's put him here. We talked about bringing a Lancer. Hmm, who do we want here? Because we're probably going to want to focus on squad members. Because uh, I don't think the ones that don't engage in combat are going to level up. Uh, they also have likes. Uh, people who they have compatibility with, I guess. Let's go ahead and bring in Kegel. No, let's not do that. That could be a mistake. Let's go ahead and bring in Jimmy Frank. I'm going to change my mind again. No, we're going to go, we're going to go with Jimmy. That's fine. Jimmy's fine. Let's put him up here. Here? Got it. Uh, let's go ahead and grab Rebecca as our engineer. Put, put her in the back. We want Kai. She can also oh, go in the back. And we're going to have to bring a scout. Let's... Let's bring Curtis. Since he didn't die last time. Let's go. I think that's good. Well, let's see. Now, capture that cannon. We'll see how good it is, or not. I don't know anything about Ready? the classes. Take down the Imperial camp. Capture their heavy artillery. Or placement. Squaddy, move out. So we'll see how this goes for us, guys. It could be a complete disaster. resistance but they're tough nuts to crack what should we do we should advance we can't exactly rush in and kick the door or not we'll get routed if we don't have a plan reasons why I'm not a military commander first thanks Claude solid foothold. let's capture that camp after that 
Well, guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Weapons free. Squad E, move out. Okay, here we go. Pay attention, Claude. Your leadership skills are going to be put to the test. That means you're getting the most out of your soldiers. Don't forget the basics. We'll do our best not to disappoint you. Yeah, good point. I'll keep that in mind. Camps. Camps are set up across the battlefield. Units stationed near allied near an allied camp receive a bonus to defense and HP, recovery at the start of each turn. Occupying a camp allows you to call for reinforcements or have a unit retreat. Capture an enemy camp by defeating all the enemy units within it, then moving to their flag and pressing A. If there are no allies in your camp, the enemy can capture it from you. There are two kinds of camps, base camps and field camps. Capture the enemy base camp while defending your own to win. Expanding your squad's capabilities by capturing field camps early on will help pave the way to victory. Okay, so we're going to be trying to capture these camps throughout the throughout the battle. Let's see how that goes. So we got a tank here, we have a tank here, light tank, a scout, these must be the camps. Uh, then the turrets back here, okay. Well, the first thing we're going to want to deal with is probably this tank. And I see no better way to do that than to bring our tank and our Lancer in here. Let's, let's go ahead and turn ourselves like this. Well, maybe we can move up a little bit. That's better. And we're going to go with our AP rounds here. Wind talk, accuracy up. Alright, not quite half. Alright, so that's it for that action point. Tutorial Lancers, here we go. The Lancer class uses anti-tank weaponry. Kind of been thinking along those lines. They have the defense and HP to maneuver behind tanks and hit their weak points. Lancers are also resistant to explosives and take less damage from mortars and grenades. Their power is offset by low AP and slow movement speed, so they're better suited to fighting tanks than recon or assault. So a heavy hitting... Low mobility. Let's try to see if we can get him at least to the cover of our tank. Let's all get a drink after this. Which we should be able to do. Oh, this was the guy, one of the guys with the big cannon thing. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, the question is... We don't have a shot at anything from back here. Well, let's get over here. What was that? Whoops. Well, with nothing else to go on but to see what happens, let's go ahead and take a shot here. Alright, not bad. I'm thinking that we end this action. But let's take, an, let's take another shot with Jimmy. He doesn't really need to move anywhere. So we're not really concerned with his AP decreasing. I don't know why, but I like to head gun for the turret. That could be totally the wrong move. All right, awesome. I see. They're good. All right, so that tank being down, let's go ahead and get Jimmy behind some cover over here. Field actions. Press A when a prompt appears near certain terrain to take special actions. Okay like the tall grass. 
Pressing A in tall grass lets you drop prone and crawl to hide from enemies. That's pretty awesome. Climbing ladders to reach higher ground is another common field action. I was wondering if we were going to have high ground in this game like in XCOM. Field actions can only be taken when a prompt for A appears on the screen. Okay. That's cool. Jimmy's going to get there. Let's go ahead and drop him to a crawl and let's see if we can get behind this fountain here. Oh, just barely. It looks like something still got sight on us. Hopefully, maybe they don't see us. Okay, let's end his turn. We'll leave him there and just kind of hope that uh, he can't be seen. Maybe we can get him in on the side here to come deal with this tank and we'll move our tank. Uh, well, we'll have to see if we can get through any of this or not, I guess. We have a scout. Understood. Uh, I wonder how far he could get. Let's bring him around this way, so we're not leaving what are your orders? Curtis all by, or leaving our Lancer, Jimmy, all by himself, rather. Mm, I don't see, where else could we get some cover here? Let's just keep him back here for the time being. Oh, we got a frag grenade. I don't think that will make it. Let's leave, let's leave Curtis here. I don't really want to have everybody go up that right side, but unless I can break through this, I can't really do anything else. We had a weapon I thought that we could use to clear debris. Maybe this is it. Well, let's see. I see. That was not it. All right. Let's see if we can run through it. There they are. No, we can't. All right. Well, that was kind of a wasted action, but we learned a little bit. I really just need to take some shots here, I think, and see what happens. We could probably see about dropping a mortar shell. I wonder, maybe we could take this guy out. I don't think we'll damage the tank too. Um, we might have completely whiffed. Not looking too good, learning our tank's capabilities. Well, we must have to destroy this. Maybe they'll destroy it for us in an attempt to get to us. We'll end that action and then I think that's the end of the player phase. There we go. Let's go ahead and see what they do to us. Well, they don't have a lot of CP. There is a way around, maybe. Or not. Alright, he is going around taking some fire there from Curtis. Ouch, Curtis is taking fire right back. And returning fire, so there we go. Nice job, Curtis. So they're going to return fire at each other when they encounter each other? I wonder how many times they'll return fire. I guess I'll find out until someone dies. I hope not. Alright, so they saved their last CP, it looked like. Tutorial, critical condition and HP recovery. Units whose HP fall to zero are in critical condition and cannot use CP or take actions. If a unit is taking heavy damage, try to keep them out of danger. Foot soldier stationed near an allied camp get a boost to the amount of HP recovered at the start of each turn. 
Tanks do not recover lost HP unless they are near an allied camp. If a tank's HP reaches zero, it immediately retreats. Alright. Look at all that CP we've got. Alright, I see no reason at this point not to just bring our tank around. There they are. And get it somewhere where we can actually... Whoops. Be useful. Hey, big surprise. Tank controls like the tank. <laughs> Alright, we can do this. Best tank driver in the Federation, I swear. Sight lines. When a unit sees an enemy in action mode, a sight line will appear over their head. We've seen this. Sight lines point to the direction of a visible enemy's location and represent different things depending on the color. Blue line. The enemy has not spotted you. Yellow line. The enemy has spotted you. So that I haven't figured out. Blue. You're good. Yellow. They see you. Red. The enemy is firing at you. Green line. The enemy is busy reloading. Green. They're reloading. Red. They're firing. Yellow. They see you. Blue. You're good to go. Use sight lines as a guide when attacking or when trying to position your units into a spot where they'll be safe from attacks. Yep. Got it. I'm sure we can get a shot off here. Not necessarily at him. I'm thinking right here. So, he gets an accuracy boost from that, whatever that is. That wind talk. Engineers. The engineer class makes up for low combat prowess with unique abilities. Resupply, repair, and revive. In action mode, engineers can resupply an ally's ammo by moving close to them. They can also repair saddlebag, <laughs> repair sandbags and ladders that have been destroyed by moving close and pressing A. So engineers can repair cover, they can give ammo, possibly repair tanks. They didn't say that. Unlike normal Ragnade, Revival Ragnade can revive allies in critical, situ in critical condition. Okay, so we can revive. They can also use their vehicle repair kit to restore HP to vehicular units. So yes, they, they probably can repair the tank. Revival Ragnade and the vehicle repair kit can both be used in target mode. Don't hesitate to use them when the need arises. I won't. Ragnade. Infantry automatically recover a small amount of HP each player phase, but sometimes they need immediate healing. Switch to Ragnade with X, then press RB and select a target. So we saw Ragnade in the in the items and didn't know what it was. Place the crosshairs on a nearby alley to heal them, or place them on no one to heal the unit using the Ragnade. Okay, because I feel like... Well, no, Curtis is not looking bad. Well, that's all good to know, though. I feel bad for these guys back here just kind of hanging out. We don't really need them at the moment. Um, what I do need to do is get my tank to tank out this other tank, so... I am going to focus on that. Fire! We need one more shot. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll bring our Lancer in here. Jimmy, who, who's crawling right now. I don't even know if he has enough range in danger. What is he in danger of? Well, we're blue, so that tells us that we're good. We're yellow, which means he spotted us. Alright, let's... Yeah, we'll get behind the tank here. Which doesn't really help us too much. Well... Well... That's not gonna cut it. Alright, let's just take our shot from here, then maybe we can get him back into cover. Nice one. Alright, Jimmy. You're earning your keep here. Uh, I don't think we got him. No. So yellow, I think, meant they all saw him. Let's see if they just light Jimmy up on their next turn. Maybe I can get the tank around in front of him. That might not be a bad idea. Let's do that. <laughs> if I put the tank right here... Oh, whoops. Tell me that I didn't just... Okay, good, he moved a little bit. I'm trying to make sure that... 
we've got him covered. There we go. Alright, now who can I get from here, and what do I want to hit them with? I can just fire these AP rounds at basically anybody from here. Maybe get this turret? Or should we try to shell him? I'm fine with that. Can we even hit from here? No. Not enough range. I feel like that's going to be totally inaccurate. Let's just hit him with these, if we can. I feel like that should be okay. Is that too far? Is that what it's telling me? Do we have a shot at all? With anything? Not really. Okay. Well, we've got Jimmy protected. Maybe we could bring in some of our boys back here now. Bring in Raz and Kai at least. Can we get up on this? No, we can't. What kind of shot do we got there? An awful one? So many bad shots. Like, can I even- I can't even get a shot. Alright, fair enough. Well, let's get him out of the line of fire at least. And maybe Kai will have a shot. If we can get her over by our tank, I guess. This seems pointless to be back here. Although... Well... Let's just see if she can take this guy out. Maybe a headshot will do for him. It says to kill one, so yeah, if we nail this, which we should. Oh, nice. Thank you, Kai. Loving the sniper class, for sure. Okay, so that guy's got line of sight on us. If we book it over here, uh, we can't break it. And actually, I just opened up for the other turret, so... God, poor Kai. Hopefully they leave her alone. But we'll see. Uh, we have one more action. Let's just give them another target in case those turrets do open up. I guess is my only real thought here. Bring someone in here that could take some of the heat. Well, or we could take a shot at this guy, potentially. God, so many bad shots. Just not gonna get this guy. Alright. Send over here, and that should be end of our phase. Yep, there we go. Let's see what the enemy has in store for us, shall we? Reinforcements. Soldiers not currently deployed are waiting in the reserves. Reserve units can be deployed from allied camps as reinforcements. Select a camp in command mode and press A to display a list of available units. Once a call for backup has been sent, the units will arrive on your next phase. Reinforcement requests will be cancelled if the camp is taken before the reserve unit can be deployed there. The enemy can likewise call for backup. The only way to stop this from happening is to capture the enemy's camps ASAP. So very important that we actually get a move on here is what they're telling us. Because they might call for backup. So we can't rest on our laurels back here. We have to move up and we gotta take these two bases as soon as we can. And to me that means okay, out. we move in with our tank. We will see this through. Alright, so we got lots of enemies, however, they're just foot soldiers. I don't know if any of them are Lancers. Let's see if we can take some of them out, like this guy right here. We could probably get him with this uh, brown T1. Yeah. Wow, that didn't do anything to him. We can fix that. I'm all about trying that again with a bigger gun. Nope. Uh, let's go with the mortar. 
And let's just drop it right on this guy. Okay, good. I, I thought that might do the trick. Alright. So we can end the action for the tank. Make sure you're properly All right. Let's see how far we can get Kai, make some of these people useful hopefully on the next player phase. Well Kai might be useful immediately. I'd like to just take out this guy over here and not leave her exposed to anybody, but I don't know if we can get him from this distance with one shot to kill six, to kill four headshots. So we can see what happens. Yeah, it looks like it'll take about three or four shots from here. Although I don't know that he can accurately hit us at that range. Maybe we run her up now a little bit. All right, so we can't see our original mark from here, or is he just? Okay. Well, there he is. But we're kind of blocked. Uh, I think I can get him. I think we can get him. Or not. No. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Well, that was a waste of an action. It looked like we could get him over that rock, but I guess not. Alright, this should be a better shot. And we should be able to get him with one shot from here. Oh, didn't get the headshot. Alright, maybe we need to get somebody else up here. See if we can get our engineer here, close to our tank. In case we need to repair, resupply. So she had a negative effect there. still see her is that guy over there wonder if we got a shot with her from here not really much of a shot question mark question mark not good not much not much damage at all that's okay it looks like we may have resupplied the tank that may have happened. Okay, moving out. All right, let's get this guy with the mortar, since it was pretty effective on the other guy. Excellent. Defeated leaders. Oh, nice. Like I was a leader. When a leader is defeated, their CP is nullified. Their command will receive fewer CP at the start of their phase. Okay. Both allies and enemies have leaders. We know about that. Claude and Raz are leaders in squad E. Keep your leader units protected while actively seeking out and destroying enemy leaders to reduce their CP pool. Makes total sense to me. 
So now that we took that guy out, it nullifies all of his CP. How much CP do they start with? Only two. Not much you can do, so they didn't do anything that turn. And we have a ton of CP. So we're looking pretty good. Oh, I did not see you there. But we can take care of that. Easily enough. Perfect. One shot, one kill. Can we get hurt into some kind of cover? Not really. Well, that's okay. Because we'll probably end up doing more with her. At this point, I just don't see why not. Let's get our tank up here to try to take this base. And see what kind of okay, heat we up. take from that Gatling turret. If we can, maybe we can mortar it from, from where we end up. If we can even get through any of this stuff, see. They told us we could destroy... ...stuff. <laughs> That's in our way. Let's see if maybe... Well, I do want to see if I can mortar this guy from here, which I don't think I can. I think I tried once. Yes, yeah, see, that's as far as we can go. I do I do think I need to destroy this stuff. Let's just see how if this works. No, there's no way for me to destroy this or get my tank in here, it seems. So I'm not sure if there's... Okay, maybe we gotta go around this way. I'm trying to find a way we can get our tank closer to the bases, basically. It's okay if we leave them out here a little bit, I think. So there's an engineer there. They have no bullets, I should move my engineer over to them, right? Because the engineer's not doing any good out here. If I move her over... There we go. And then if she runs over to the tank, we'll resupply the tank as well. Not really digging that she can't get cover here. Can she do anything from here? Can she be useful to us? Like, from taking an action point of view. Can we get this grenade there, maybe? You'll have to take down the These grenades have a really short range. And I know that, uh... I know that her rifle's not gonna have... ...much of a range itself, either. Let's... That might be okay. We got some damage in. That's better than nothing. He's crouching, so... His return fire didn't hit us. Curtis probably has quite a bit of range on him. He's our... He's our scout. Let's get him out here. No, we can jump these. There we go. Someone sounds like they're taking shots at us. Not sure if that's what's actually happening or not. Don't do anything rash. Alright, let's crouch, firstly. That was a little rash. And then we could, uh... Alright, so we're kind of at a standoff here, but at least, at least we got the cover. Uh, no damage taken on the return fire from that engineer. Let's end this action. We have three CP left. Now that Kai has ammo... I'm thinking about a couple of things. We could run over here, take this guy out.
four shots to kill. Maybe we'll get a little closer. We could have had the engineer rebuild that sandbag, then we could have used that, but I'm just gonna run up here. Oh, I can't get in there. Well, that's a shame. Let's take our shot. Not bad. And let's just disrupt things a little bit. Okay, moving out. By wheeling our tank in here. And we know, we know what we're going to do. Fire! Because it worked so well last time. Our allies have been taken We're going to have to swing her around anyway. She's just on the wrong side. We didn't know we couldn't uh, get through over there, but she's going to get more and more tired this phase, so... Alright, so now it's their phase. So let's see if they can do anything. Everybody's defeated over there. They got two CP that they're not going to do anything with. Uh, we just got to get to their bases and maybe take out those back turrets. And so let's go ahead and just do that. Is that what we needed to do to... I mean, they told us maybe we gotta get somebody over here. But I wonder if I could... Are we making any progress? No. We could mortar this guy, possibly, is what my goal is. Dude, our mortars just can't... Use the element of surprise. They just can't. Can I do anything now? Maybe we'll just see if this does anything. Right there. Well, it might have if we had hit. Almost made it. There. I feel like I'm heavily reliant on my sniper and my tank, but I feel like the reliance on either of those is going to depend on what enemies are up. Let's go ahead and end here. He can't see us. Okay. Let's get our tank over that way to maybe provide her with some cover. Perhaps we can get in front of her. Ugh, oh, just barely. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit him with anything. Let's just try the AP round again. It didn't really work last time. Yeah, maybe we just can't target it. units with it unless they're armored. We are blocking his bullets now, so that's good. The old 1-2 combo here. She's not doing too good. Oh no! no I can't be. The medic. Units use HP fall to zero are in critical condition and cannot use CP to take actions. Three turns, allowing the enemy to touch them, okay. Except in very few exceptional cases, incapacitated means the soldier is 
Dead will disappear from your squad. In order to prevent this in ally, you must make contact with the down. Okay, so let's get somebody over there. Alright, well, we learned a valuable lesson. Wonder how long that's gonna take her out. Understood. We could probably get our scout over there. If he'd like to stand up for us. I, I, at least I hope. There we go. Perfect. Just barely, but... You're safe now. Hang in Sorry, there. Kai. Relied on you too much. Keep it together. And now you're out of the fight. No! Oh no, Curtis. Jeez, we gotta take that guy out. Oh, just barely got him out of there. Alright, guy. I don't know. Kinda regretting not bringing these guys up a lot sooner. Uh, because now I'm in a little bit of a situation where I could use some more firepower and I don't really have it. Uh, you're not going to be able to do anything from back there, so let's go ahead and end our phase. And they can't do much. I mean, we just got to take this last guy out. That's all. Well, sorry dude. Can we do anything with this tank from here, this turn? Let's find out. That looks promising. Oh, we don't need a lot now. Seriously, I don't need a lot. Just need a hit of some kind, some kind of damage. Not happy with that at all. Not happy with that at all. Fire! There we go. That did it. Well done. <sighs> right. So this guy, he should be able to heal himself, I think. Yeah. Right? Maybe? There we go. So the tank can't capture, we, just, we need an actual soldier unit here to capture. Apparently. You're too well fortified. Even with the camp, you can't advance like this. This is bad, Claude. If this keeps up, they'll mow us down. Come on, let's just go all out and charge him. Better than sitting here and dying, right? Tried all these approaches so far. No, a frontal assault is way too dangerous. You have to stay. Easy for you to say. Damn, if only we had artillery. There has to be some way through. Just hang on until I find it. Patience, guys. Morale boosts. Taking down an enemy or capturing an enemy camp can trigger a morale boost. Morale boosts grant a higher chance of activating potentials and dodging. They end when the unit takes another action. If the unit is under heavy fire, it may be wise to hold on to their morale boost by not taking any actions on that turn. Okay. Fair enough. Victory condition has changed to any allied unit reaches the target. Enemy reinforcements have appeared. Wonderful. So, we're going to have to fight through all of this. I'm going to take a little bit of a break here. When we come back, we'll see if we can clear the rest of these combatants. Gatling guns, some scouts, some shock troopers, and reach the base back here where we can blow up that howitzer. Thank you guys for joining me today. Hope you're having a good time. I'm really enjoying this game. like it a lot. 
and we will see you here next time. Wish me luck.